Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. We're here to do your weekly look ahead for January 25th through 31st, 2021. This is for all Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So if you are new to my channel, then welcome in. And if you're returning, then welcome back. And I truly appreciate your support, your likes, your subscribes, and your comments. Thank you so much for returning and for your energy. So let's see where we go here. Messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the week ahead. As always, this is a general and intuitive reading. So um, not, every mess not every single part of the message will resonate with all of you. So take the parts that do and leave the rest behind. All right. Messages for Libra, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. This is a message from your spirit animal guides. Just to start off your reading. And we have the panda. Create a sacred space for yourself in your home and or place of work. All right. Make sure that you've got just that little space that you can retreat to when people just uh, annoy the hell out of you a little bit. Um, you know, just something that you can get away to for just a few minutes out of your day just to kind of rejuvenate yourself a little bit. All right. Something that's just yours, even if it's your bathtub for 10 minutes at the end of the day after everyone's gone to bed. All right. So messages for Libra, please. <clears throat> and we have answering the call. The time is now. Okay. That's your call to action. So if you've been uh, sitting back on your on your heels, just wondering when is the time to start something, it is now, my friends. It is now. So I'm going to pull your tarot, and then we'll just go a little bit deeper into your messages here. So current situation. What do we have, please, for our Libra? And first out, we have the Seven of Cups. Okay. All right. So you're using your imagination. Maybe have a lot of decisions to make, a lot of options available to you. All right. Your challenge, your obstacle, we have the Six of Cups. Okay. So something from the past is still in your energy here. I will clarify that. All right. Blessings coming your way. We have the King of Cups. Ooh, okay. That can mean a number of things. All right. And your outcome energy here. We have the Eight of Cups. Okay. Walking towards something better for that energy there. All right. So I'm just going to pull the clarifiers here. Clarify the Seven of Cups, please. What other information for the Seven of Cups? And we have the world. Wow, okay, you are absolutely trying to create a new life for yourself, okay? Or working on something where you want that successful ending. The Six of Cups clarified by the Five of Pentacles in reverse, okay? Uh, the King of Cups clarified by Justice beautiful balance and fairness coming back into your life here all right the eight of cups is clarified by the hermit okay wisdom solitude um finding your truth your true path with that energy there okay what finding your dreams all right so we'll start right off here we have the panda okay create a sacred space for yourself in your home and or place of work so we touched on it already um this is making sure that you have somewhere to go to clear your mind, um, to ground yourself, okay? Um, just something that's kind of your own. Um, and sometimes, I mean, if you have a family and children running around, sometimes that can be a little bit difficult because, of course, children know no boundaries, <laughs> typically, okay? Um, you know, and it's like, oh my God, I just need somewhere that I can just go and breathe for a minute, all right? But that can also be, um, you know, maybe you want to uh, maybe want to take up going for a walk after dinner sometimes, maybe, or, um, you know, maybe uh, leave 10 minutes early for the office, Okay, and or for your workplace and, you know, maybe a, find a park along the way or something just go for like a little brisk morning walk or something um, can also just be, you know, somewhere in your house, even if it's, you know, your bathtub or your bathroom. It's like, no, I'm just uh, 
yeah, I'm just getting ready for work and maybe it just takes a little bit longer, okay? But just, you know, something, it doesn't need to be anything huge, but just something where, somewhere where you can go just to get that little bit of a breather, all right? <clears throat> Excuse me, and then we have answering the call, the time is now, okay? So, um, so if you're looking for a job, throw your resumes out there and this is that uh, this is that energy of um uh, uh take a chance all right take a chance um because the time is now right so if you're trying to decide where to put your energy or what kind of um jobs to go for okay um this can also be um you know if you're looking for new love right where do i look who do i choose maybe you've got some options if you're doing online dating and all that okay but this can also be um answering a spiritual call okay however that resonates for you the time is now okay this is that energy of walk through that door walk through that portal into something new you have creative energy behind you um, and if you are thinking of opening your own business, the stars are aligned for you with this. Okay. So the, the time is now, maybe the time wasn't six months ago, but now is that time. And there's a lot of success here in your future for you. Okay. So, uh, however that resonates for you, this is a time of action. Okay. Your time of planning is coming to an end with this energy. And now is that time for action. So take that leap. Okay, take that leap, answer the call, listen to your intuition and listen to what your heart and your gut say, okay, and you're not going to go wrong. And that exactly leads us into uh, your current energy. We have the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups is, uh, it can be in relation to your creativity, your imagination, your fantasy, but also, um, you know, you might have a lot of options available to you and you might need to make a decision. All right, on how to proceed, how to go forward. All right, you are the creator of your own destiny. And I do really love the fact here that, you know, we have the seven of cups here. We have the six of cups that's just in your challenge, your resistance energy, but your outcome is the eight of cups. So that is growth. Okay, that's a lot of growth and a lot of wisdom. Okay, that you attain throughout this week, throughout this reading. All right, so, um, <clears throat> excuse me, this is that energy because we also have the world. The world is about a completion, okay, completion of a cycle. Um, this can be uh, stepping through that portal into something new, okay, but this is that energy saying that no matter what decision you make, all right, as long as you make the decision from your heart and from your higher good, your higher self, you cannot go wrong. The world is success. All right, lots of success and abundance, alignment, all right, using all the powers at your disposal and also harnessing the powers in the universe to walk through that portal into something new, all right? And you see here, we have this door to a new world here. That's also what's represented in the world card, right? Walking through that portal, walking through that door, and you have all the positive, positive energies, success, and good fortune behind you with that, right? As long as you make the decision from your heart and follow that heart of yours, okay? So we have the Six of Cups, all right, and the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Now, this is your challenge position, okay? So I would read the Six of Cups as um, in the reverse there, and then the Five of Pentacles is also in that reverse position there, okay? So your Six of Cups, I'm just going to turn it back around. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm so sorry. So the Six of Cups here, this is, um, you're thinking about the future, right? You're thinking about what you want. But this is in your challenge position, so it feels here that your, um, your obstacle here, it's just very minor, right? You're, you're still stuck. You're trying to, you're trying to make a little decision, right? You're, you're thinking, is now the time? Is this what I really want? All right. But the, uh, the six of cups being in the reverse here, that would be about the future. You're thinking about the future. You're thinking about what you want to do, where's what's coming up next. All right. And the five of pentacles, Okay, this five of pentacles, it's a release of energy. Okay, so it's coming out of that period of not having enough, not having the resources that you need. And this is saying that 
um, you know, your challenge is a little bit overcoming that, but it's making that decision, okay? Um, listen to your heart with this energy, absolutely. All right, um, you know what to do, okay? You're looking forward to better times, okay? Better times and improved outlook on your life here with that, okay? So it's just this, it feels like this is just very minor because it almost feels here in this energy, okay, that you, you're you almost a little bit of afraid to make this decision here. Um, you're maybe worried, okay? You're worried that, oh my God, what if I make the same mistake again? What if I don't choose correctly? What if I follow the wrong path, all right? And it's you might be a little overwhelmed, Okay, with the opportunities that are in front of you or, you know, the thoughts going around in your head um, or what direction to take. All right. So um, but you do have a lot of success here with this world card energy. So again, answer that call. The time is now. So um, refocus, regroup. Okay. And whatever it is that you're that you're working on. Okay. Whatever you're thinking about, whatever you're trying to create for yourself there with that energy now is the time to make that decision. Just do it. Just listen to your heart, okay? Because really and truly the opportunities that are in front of you, you can't go wrong when you listen to your when you listen to your heart and your higher self there, okay? So make that decision and break free. It just feels like it's very minor. It feels like you kind of created that your own delay with this, all right? So just make that decision because you are coming out of um, you know, a, a challenging time. Okay. And you are literally the creator of your own destiny here. Blessings coming your way. We have the King of Cups and justice coming out for you here. So again, it feels like once you, once you make that decision, you level yourself up, you step into your own personal power with this King of Cups, you're in master and you're in control of your emotions. And this is karma. Okay. Karma, balance, fairness. So whatever it is that you're working on, the judge, the, the outcome is in your favor. All right. It's a beautiful energy. Justice is 11. Okay. 11 is new beginnings. All right. But new beginnings that are very successful, very fair. Um, you know, your karma is in your favor with this energy here. I love it. It's wonderful. Okay. This blessings coming your way, right? So you have the universe on your side, right? Remember the time is now, right? You're, you can't go wrong. Okay. You can't go wrong. Just break yourself free of this uh, of this indecision here and step into a new portal. Okay. This can for some of you. Okay. For some of you, if you are, uh, if you are, um, trying to find new love. Okay. Um, this can represent a person coming in for you, someone very loving, kind, caring, someone who they may be a little bit older than you, maybe not. Okay. Um, it's can be male or female as well. This is the masculine, um, energy of the cup suit. Okay. So, um, so this can be someone new coming in, but look, this is spirit has sent this person your way. Okay. So you might be a little overwhelmed, especially if you're doing online dating or all of your friends are trying to, Oh, I have a friend for you. I have someone that would be perfect for you. And you're like, ah, I don't know what to do. Okay. Um, listen to your heart. Okay. And you can't go wrong because Whoever you choose here, right? It feels like it'll be just and fair and right and balanced. And um, it's karma, right? Karma is this is in your favor here with this energy. For some of you, this could possibly be somebody in your business life, okay? You could be getting a business loan if you're dealing with any kind of legal situation here, all right? Any legal situation, contracts, anything like that, they will also be in your favor. All right. This is, this is fairness and balance coming your way with a new beginning. Okay. So, um, very beautiful energy, um, bless and that's blessings coming your way. Right. So don't be afraid to make that decision as long as it's coming from a good place and your outcome energy here. Again, I love it. Okay. I love it because we've gone from the seven of cups, right? That you're, you know, the seven and you're, you're hesitating here between, you know, between, um, trying to make a decision. And then here with that eight of cups, your decisions made. Okay. You've looked at all the opportunities and you've looked and you've, um, you've done your due diligence and you've listened to your heart and you're like, nah, you know what? 
none of that works for me. Okay. And you know what? I'm going to walk towards the opportunity of a lifetime. All right. I'm going to choose to follow my heart because even though there's maybe nothing necessarily wrong with some of the opportunities that you have or the decisions that you need to face, okay, or however, whatever your situation that you have, you're like, nope, you know what? I know what I want now. I'm following my heart and I'm walking towards something better because you also have the hermit and that's about going within. All right, taking a moment to pause and reflect, listening to your inner wisdom, deciding what is your true hopes and dreams. The hermit actually has a star in the lantern there, okay? And that's uh, finding your truth, finding your wisdom, finding your dreams, following your heart with this energy. It does require a little bit of... Um, uh, a little bit of quiet time, a little bit of downtime, okay? But it feels here that, you know, you might be very self-sufficient because the hermit is a solitary energy and not needing um, anyone to help you. So for some of you, if you're looking for new love, all right, for some of you, you might actually not choose any option that's in front of you there, all right? And you might decide to follow your heart and to go a different direction, with that with that energy there right but at least you're moving forward and you're not just stuck okay and that king of cups there that can be you coming into your own personal power and your own personal um, alignment all right and then you decide just to go it alone for a while all right that can be that energy coming up there too all right um, um, and I do need to say it because it is here okay if you are perhaps currently um, in a divorce situation, okay, um, you've been maybe negotiating, you've got law lawyers fighting together, all right, and you're just, you, there's a lot of indecision, a lot of uh, stagnation there, okay, the outcome here will be in your favor, all right, just saying, and that's because we do have that King of Cups there, right, and that is, uh, and that justice karma in balancing out, right? So it'll be a balanced, fair, and just decision that will allow you to regain control of your life, your emotions, all right? Allow you to walk towards the future with a renewed wisdom and knowledge of what you now need to do and where you need to go, okay? Just so putting that out there for somebody because somebody there needs to hear that message, okay? So um, you know, so, you know, persevere and, and keep that faith. Okay. Just, uh, just so you know, they're on a side note. All right. So I'm going to leave your reading there and I'm going to close out your reading with a spellcaster oracle last message for Libra, please. And I will point out to you too. Uh, I'm not sure if I said it or not. Justice is your card. Okay. That's your energy. All right. Working in your favor, right? Libra justice is represented by Libra. Okay. Um, hermit is Virgo. All right, so you might have Virgo in your chart, all right, or you could be possibly dealing with a Virgo, but I feel that this hermit energy here in this position has more to do with you. So some of you might have that in your chart. You don't have to, all right, it's just one possibility there. But um, so let's close out your reading. One last message for Libra, please. What else do we need to know? One last message for Libra. And we have inspiration, okay. So go within, listen to your heart, listen to follow your gut, all right? Um, whatever you're trying to create, this is your inner light shining through. Use your creativity, your imagination, your, uh, your heart. Look for inspiration somewhere. This is also spirit giving you an inspiration and um, that lighting your inner fire to allow you to go forward. I think I will actually read this one from the book for you just because um, somehow I feel like I should. All right, I don't always, but uh, in this sentence, I'm, yeah, I'm hearing that I should. So inspirations beck inspiration beckons you to trust in your imagination, right? Seven of Cups imagination, for this is a gateway to real magic and a world that you wish to light up inspiration and the world okay um call upon the spirits of the air to stimulate your mind and illuminate any creative ideas a flash of inspiration to bring about a brilliant revelation will change your course and is reflected in your thoughts and dreams focus and follow 
up, follow up on inventiveness and innovation. Allow your inner creativity to be expressed. Take long walks to clear the mind and allow nature to truly inspire you. So throw caution to the wind and watch as your visions manifest into reality. So you too become someone to aspire to. Okay. Absolutely. In relation to making that decision there. All right. So I'm going to leave that there for you. Hopefully there was messages in here that helped you along your way, gave you a little bit of guidance or inspiration as it be. Okay. Um, if so, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Feel free to leave me a comment. I do read them all. All right. And um, uh, I thank you guys so much for watching and all the best for the week ahead. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.